please say hi. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me. Yesterday my first video was out and I got 10 subscribers. This is unbelievable to me. I feel so much love and honestly I'm overwhelmed. So this is my last video. No, it's not. Today I'm filming on my phone camera because I hate the lights from my Sony Nex 6. Also, I'm looking for affordable softbox. Please comment if you want to say something or you find anything irritating. You can also tweet me. The main reason I'm not wearing my makeup today is because this is going to be a fast makeup routine video because in a couple of hours I have to go to gym and I don't want to keep you waiting. So let's get into it step by step. First thing I'm going to do is moisturize my skin because I'm dry like a lizard. I'm using my Beyond Happy Snail Aqua Day Cream. Yeah, I love the packaging. If any of you noticed that my voice is kind of different, it's because I have a cold. I really like this day cream. I'm almost out of it. And now I feel so much better. Now for my lips, usually I have two steps treatment. This is the Jeffree Star Lip Scrub and uh, it's with gingerbread man flavor. I'm a diehard fan of this, but I'm not going to scrub my lips on camera because it will be disgusting. I scrubbed my lips, yes, it's brand new. I scrubbed my lips uh, yesterday and it was disgusting, don't do that, never scrub your lips on camera because you don't want to do that, believe me. So the next step is my Palmer's Cacao Butter Formula Lip Butter with dark chocolate and peppermint flavor. Everyone with uh, dry lips will love it. So the lips are done. Next I'm going to use Angel Aqua Moisturizing Primer from Beyond. I love the packaging and uh, let me show you how it looks on your skin because it's beautiful. It has a pearly or a holographic effect. Now you can see it shines like a pearl but it has a really beautiful holographic effect on your skin. It's a little bit color correcting. I'm going to apply it with my Morphe foundation brush right here. Now I feel moisturized enough. Right now it's time for my foundation. It's my Prolong Wear Waterproof Foundation in the shade NW20 and I have quite a lot of tools here like sponges sorry this is the Real Technique new sponge and brushes but recently I've been using one tool and uh, since I got it I never stopped using it it's the silly sponge right here it's not perfect but with some help it's the best and it's only 99 cents here you need to use the flat side of the silly sponge I'm putting on foundation on it right here we need a little amount we'll start with this Oh no, that's too much, I think so, but we will try to work with this. Today we're going to have a full coverage before because it's a medium to full coverage, but we have so much product. Yeah, put it on my face like this. Now you have to tap. Don't bounce. As you can see, I don't have a perfect texture with Silly Sponge, so I will need extra help as I told you with this Morphe brush. I will just blend everything out uh, in the areas uh, that I don't like my foundation.
I don't need to swipe so much, but I really love the sensation of this brush. I think I've used a little bit too much of the foundation today, but it looks pretty. I like it. So we're done with foundation. My favorite concealer is Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Yes, it's very, very light. I didn't have any chance to match it with my skin. It is fair. I already ordered fair beige, but I will use them both because there is summer coming. I need a really tiny bit of the product because I'm using the silly sponge and uh, I don't need a lot of the product. I have some breakouts today, so I'm using Max Studio Conceal and Correct Pro Duo. And this is the shade Pale Yellow, this is the shade Pale Pink. I'm using the shade Pale Pink to cover this problem. I did the best I could, but I still look atrocious. Oh, never mind. We will be starting with the contouring. I have the Tarte Sculptor and um, I love this cream contour, it's really pretty and easy to use. Hope it's even and uh, I'll be using this Morphe brush for contouring, it's so soft and nice. I will also show you how can you contour with a silver sponge because I like it. I need a soft box so you can see all the disgusting things I have on my face up close. Come on Mira, help me! So that's it with the contouring. I don't want it to look that obvious because we're going for a natural look. But now it's time for blush and highlighter. I'm using um, two highlighter kits for this because I didn't get any brush today. So this is the Slick uh, Highlighter Palette and this is Anastasia Sweet Glow Kit. They're so pretty. Let's start with this one and I will use these two shades. Sassy Grape and Taffy to create my unique blush today and uh, I will use Sleek Highlighter obviously to highlight my cheekbones I'm going to take this Morphe R12 brush and um, just putting this in your peach and pink shades Actually, it is really intense and beautiful. I love sparkles so much that I end up using too much product. Luckily, I have found a solution by using this brush and I can control myself. Now I'm using Tarte Sculpture Highlighter to highlight my brows. With this brush, I'm going into my first shade, Taffy. It's so pretty. And then I'm adding some Sassy Grape. I get so much glow and I'm enjoying it. So the other side is the same, taffy and sassy grape. To highlight my nose, I'm using this yellow shade and putting a tiny bit of this. the Cupid's bow with this brush
And after that, I'm using my MAC Brow Pencil to shape my brows as soft and natural as possible. So for my eyeshadow today, I'm using my Too Faced palette and uh, this is Chocolate Bonbon palette. I love it so much, it is beautiful. I will use the shade Divinity and put it on my lips. It is a very natural color. I really hope this video will be out because I'm not happy with what I'm doing. Now I'm taking Almond Truffle shade. Next, I'm using Setting Sheets shade. I'm gonna use this Morphe brush again and take the shade Mocha right over here and put it under my eye. Now once again, I'm using satin sheets to highlight my lower eyelid, just get a nice effect here. That's really cute. I'm using this shade again in this palette and putting in my inner corner. That looks nice. And it's not just a mascara, it's magic. Good morning! So now you can compare how much volume does this mascara gives me. It's not my favorite mascara, I really enjoyed it effect but it's really not comfortable for me I'm sorry I feel so bad about telling how I don't like using products you see I've got so many problems with this mascara but it looks really really amazing so this is the final step we now we can have some pudding this is Mac retro matte lipstick in shade lady be good if you follow me on instagram i shout it out like so many times how much i like this lipstick and i'm i can't wait to apply it here it is beautiful shade i'm going to take off my cute ears maybe i will try on my wig I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I just want this look to look really curly and pretty. This is not a natural look anymore. I love it so much. Hey, do you want to say hi? <laughs> he doesn't want to be with me. Hmm. Okay, you can go. Free. <laughs> He's not really happy about me holding him so long to take a nice shot i'm sorry guys 